Greetings and welcome everyone to Pinky Ponage. Today we'll be doing some achievement hunting for the perks of power that provide us with punishment for the Nazi scum. For at least the first 10 minutes of the video after that I'm going to be bored out of my mind and proceed to go, I don't know, screw my girlfriend who I just found, evidently. Hey, I got the weapons. Loaded up with gear and equipment. Let's get ready to blow some shit up. Who knows? If we're lucky, we'll come across some shit that needs to be blown up. In addition to the usual psychotic mayhem, I like to reap. Okay. Right. You know, just one of these episodes, I'd like to end without me dying. Seriously. God, he's got to have more lives than a fucking cat. Car! Now, step one. So we gotta find ourselves a Nazi uniform. Oh look, there's one. <laughs> ah. Well, that was short-lived. Boom! And he's out of the park. Too bad it wasn't a Nazi, or that would have been worth 20 points. That, that will haunt me. We're off in the red light district, and I'm not seeing a whole lot of, uh, Nazis. Hmm. Hello, Masha Lee! Uh, is he a loner? No, it's a duet. It's a corporal and a captain! Oh, worthy prey indeed. Take your time, boys. Take your time. More than happy to wait. Would you get the fuck out of the way, old man? Out of the way. Get out of the way. Dick! No! No! Don't do this to me! I have the shot. Why did oh, I didn't take the shot when I had the fucking shot? Damn it, I didn't take the shot. My fault! Are they both going to go the same way? Yes! Yes! I'm getting a second chance! Yes! You, sir, are going to die right now. Come here. I will beat the shit out of both of you. You first. And you, come here. Come here. Come here. I'm going to teach you the power to snitch it. Come on. Get back here. Come here. No snitching! Snitches be bitches! <sighs> Lead the way, Corporal! I said lead the way, not die. Now you can die. Okay. Let's try that again. I guess I can cut this entire section out. Alright, look, um... All right, I'm gonna cut this whole tidbit out. I'll file Q back in when I find myself some Nazi skin. Hello. 
looking forward to pounding fascists all day. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty took a great fall. Humpty Dumpty should have known better than to shoot at the man with the explosives. You fucking dumbass. I'm gonna watch you die. I'm on a fucking alarm. I don't care. Die. Fucking idiot. Seriously. What made you think that was going to end well? You know who I am. You know what I've been doing. Why would you piss off the guy with the explosives? Who's, you're his target, and you're up top. Oh. Neat. Ah, uh, this looks like a good spot. <laughs> Dude! Wasting. Damn! <laughs> nice! I didn't even know that was a thing! <laughs> That is wonderful! Congratulations! I genuinely didn't know that was a thing! What will we do with it? Hmm. No battle grade, no battle grade. <sighs> yep. Sorry about that, Father Cornello. Holy shit! Oh no. That's your Father Cornello. One lit candle. Okay, so blue point that way. Okay. <gasps> Father Dennis! Woo! Alright, guys, I found us a mission. Screw what I was doing before. This is more important. Okay. You saved many lives by killing that informant, Sean. The people of my flock are grateful for your help. A man who would sell his neighbors to the Gestapo deserves a hole in his head. A year ago, I might have disagreed with you, but these old eyes of mine have seen too much. What's next, Father? I spoke with the Gestapo officer who recruited the man you killed. What? Why? I told him I had information about certain uh, undesirables hiding in my neighborhood. A list of names and hiding places. I offered to bring it to his office. But you plan to deliver another sort of present instead, don't you, Father? Indeed I do. I hear you used to drive cars for a living. Aye, and fix them too. I need the wheel man. Someone who knows these streets and isn't afraid to face the Nazis on their own terms. Then you've come to the right place, Father. I'm in. <laughs> Come on then, I'll get us some wheels. Come on. Oh, I need a uniform. Hang on. Screw it. It's got more ammunition anyway. Okay. I need a Gestapo uniform. No, nope, wait, better idea. Perfect. There we go. You 
worried they won't let you in the place. These Gestapo officers think I'm a joke. An old wino priest, peddling secrets for liquor money. They probably won't even bother searching my bag. Either way, I will see them in hell. You're a tough old bastard, father. I'll give you that. Thank you, my son. You know, normally I hate religion in general. It's fucking obnoxious. It's brought nothing but pain and destruction and suffering everywhere it goes. And yet, I've got to have respect for these people. Eh, you know what? Maybe I'm just speaking on top. There we go. Sorry, that'll pound right out. Anyway, Fraulein, take some notes on this. This is how you do a proper bomb drop. You let them know what you're doing. You let them understand that they're a part of this. You hire a driver who's actually willing to help you. Because if you rope some civilian in, they're probably going to rat you out real quick. <sighs> it's refreshing to see honesty, especially from a religious person. Anyway, uh... Hello, boobies! Okay, where are we going? Um... Yep, I see it. Um, it's coming up. Take it nice and slow. Stealth mode activated. I need to borrow your car. Sorry about this, but my needs are greater than yours. <laughs> Here, take my clunker. Here we go. Your business. I am here to deliver the list of fugitives your commander requested. I think you had better say a few Hail Marys, priest. Go on. For me here. This won't take long. Good luck, Father. be a good rendezvous point. I need something 
far enough away that I can get out. Hmm. Yeah, suppose this entire half of Paris will do, so boink. <clears throat> drive, Sean! Drive like the devil! Hang on, father. Here we go, boys! Knock knock. Ah, that felt great. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. Working on it, Father. Okay. Follow the purple line to freedom. Mainly because we're in the part of Paris I have yet to liberate, for the most part. And because for some odd reason this thing is slower than shit. I was better in the clunker. Shit. So that's how you drive! Okay. It only took me like 10 to. It only took me 15 episodes. God damn it. It only took me like 15 episodes to learn how to drive. Holy shit. I love how they don't even question the fact that the car is covered in bullet wounds. Seriously, are you guys... Fine. Maybe I should make like an entire episode where I'm just running over Nazis. I sense that a great pain weighs on your heart, Sean. I want you to know I am here for you. Would you like me to hear your confession? No, thank you, Father. My pain isn't a burden that needs to be lifted. It's the fire that keeps me warm. <sighs> Mission complete! Well, folks, this has been a rather taxing episode. And in the next one, I promise more explosions, more shit that's fun, and all kinds of crazy shit. What am I going to do for the next episode? Eh, who knows? Maybe I'll go ask SK. In the meantime... Dude, you're all alone. Why would you walk forward towards me? Can I steal the tank? Please? I want to drive the tank. Can I drive the tank? Please? 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 Ah! Oh, f***ing cocktease. 
Anyway, guys, this has been Pinky Ponage sent, uh, signing out. It's been a fun mission with y'all. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.